Hello everyone. Today's video is about using Unity 3D for animation. The reason I choose Unity, is the speed and offset issue is very rare. And NLA in Blender is sometimes not transferable. First install Unity and create a new project, and choose, 3D HDRP for high quality renders, and effect. Close this window, we don't need them. Now you can drag and drop your mesh into the scene, and align them in the scene tab. I will add a plane to show you how it's look like. Now let's import our character animation in. Drag and drop and wait until it's load everything. First we need to fix texture issue here. Go to materials tab, and choose the external materials option in the second drop down. And click apply. Do this for every one character only, don't repeat the texture fix on every animation models you import. I prefer you to mixamo your mesh in T-Pose and animate easy. Now the important part that can make your animating pressure gone, the offset issue when animating. Just follow the steps, first go to rig tab and change to humanoid type. Don't bother other setting if you are using mixamo animation. Next repeat the steps for all the imported animation. Next we need timeline to animate our scene. Right click, go to create, and pick timeline and rename it. Drag and drop the timeline into your hierarchy tab. Double click on timeline to open your timeline window. Drag and place it anywhere, that easy access for you. Click on the lock key, to lock window. Now drag and drop your character into scene. Select your character and click create in the timeline, this will open a window to save your timeline file, name it and click save. Delete the previous timeline and load the new one. Now press the plus icon and add an animation track. Drag and drop your character mesh into the animation track. Before adding your animation clip, select your character and copy the location on the right side. Now right clip on the animation track and click add animation clip. And select your animation clip. If your animation didn't play, drag, and drop your character mesh into the animation track again. Now our character jumping in offset, to fix this, click on the animation clip, and find the location data, and right click and paste the location we copied earlier. Now add another animation clip. Same offset issue but this time it's easier to fix. Right click and choose match offset to previous clip and it merge the location. Drag and push to make your animation blend. Another animation. Fixing the z-axis is not a problem, just select your mesh and move it in the z-axis. Or copy paste your previous z-axis only. My character is walking in one place, it's an in-place animation, if you use Mixamo walk, this animation will loop, until you're at another animation, while updating your offsets. For looping your animation, go to right side and choose loop on in the drop down menu below. To add a shape key animation, like I blink, right click and add an override track. Rename it. Press the record button. And select your mesh, and check for blend shapes on the right side.
Find your shape key and add keyframes as you like. Click the record button to stop and right click and choose convert to clip track and loop it for an eye blink animation. Repeat the same step for character talking and add an audio track and drag and drop your audio files. For camera, let's use Cinemachine camera. First install Cinemachine and Recorder from the Package Manager. Make sure to install the recorder after Cinemachine done install. Now add a Cinemachine track, and drag and drop your main camera from your hierarchy tab. Right click and go to Cinemachine, and add a virtual camera. Select your virtual camera and press Ctrl Shift F, to fit camera to view. Drag and drop your virtual camera, in the Cinemachine track. You can use multiple cameras, to preview what is going to be rendered, we have to refer the game tab. Drag and place it separately, and resize the size output. Animate the camera movement if you want, click the record and move the camera. You can add another camera and blend it for smooth transition. Don't forget to drag and drop your main camera into the Cinemachine track. Parenting an object is easy, drag and drop your mesh in the bone in the hierarchy. Add a directional light for lighting, or search for HDRI in Unity. To render the scene, add a recorder track, and right click and add a recorder clip. Adjust the recorder clip as long as your render. Press the play button and your scene will be rendered as a mp4 file. Find your render in your project files, and recording folder. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video will be helpful for you.